Welcome back to SAI TV News. I'm your host, Jake Krause, here to bring you the latest in civic science news. As a biologist, I often had access to research papers through the research institutions that I've been a part of. Now, as a reporter, I don't have that same access. I often find myself up against a paywall. A literature review is in the process of being peer-reviewed, and it explores the research available on how journalists use open access resources. Now, just a reminder, open access refers to being able to go online and view a journal article or other research output without having to pay a financial cost or having some other barrier to access. Now, this paper is discussing how there really isn't much research out there on how journalists use open access resources. Much of the research available focuses on the pandemic, but we don't really know what happened before or what will come after. And much of the focus is, of course, on the global north and overlooks other parts of the world or other non-English speaking outlets for science. In the nature of open access, this article is in the process of being peer reviewed and is open for public comment. So be sure to check out that link in the description if this is something that interests you. The Helsinki Initiative on Multilingualism is hosting a webinar on multilingualism and scholarly communication. This webinar is going to take a look at how language barriers are an issue in conservation science, how machine learning uses translation tools, uh, connecting back to last time when we talked about how AI is influencing the future of science communication, well this is one of the examples of that. And it's also going to look at the overall landscape um, of publishing. So if any of that interests you, be sure to check out this webinar. The link's in the description. Sign up now. The Yale Program on Climate Change Communication has introduced its fourth class of the Public Voices Fellowship to help address the climate crisis. These thought leaders are innovating new ways to address the climate crisis, and they are all very impressive if you look at their bios in the description. Are you or someone you know doing award-winning science communication work? Well, the AAAS, a leading science organization, is open to submission for nominations for their Excellence in Science Communication Awards. The deadline is June 30th, so be sure to submit soon. Winners will be announced in early 2024. This has been the SAI TV News Roundup. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you next week.